What's going on guys, it's Raymond here and today I'm gonna be diving with the world's smallest scuba tank. Since scuba was invented, diving hasn't changed all that much. The gear that we use today is basically the same as it was 30 years ago. But there are now ways to dive without the traditional scuba equipment. The spare air tank came out a few years ago and it is the world's smallest sold scuba tank. It's meant to serve as a backup air supply, but for certified divers like myself, it can be used for short and shallow dives. Today I've made my way down to Beaver Lake in Northwest Arkansas. This is one of the best freshwater lakes to dive anywhere in the US. So I thought it would be a great place to use the mini scuba tank. All right, so this right here is the spare air tank. Probably the smallest scuba tank in the world. It's only about a foot tall. And if I'm lucky, I can get about five, maybe six minutes of air while under the surface. Now the visibility over here looks pretty good. On that side where I just went diving, it's not that great. So hopefully once I get down, the visibility will be pretty decent. Now with this tank, I'm probably only looking to go maybe 15 feet, 20 at the max. But yeah, I haven't used this thing in a little while and I'm really excited. So let's get in the water. Now, if you want a little comparison on size, that's a regular scuba tank, and that right there is the spare air. Only a fraction of the size, but still just as cool. Now, it was just down only for about three minutes, though. I'm gonna refill the tank and then head back out. Now, I'm sure a lot of you out there are wondering, how do you know when you're getting low on air? Well, this is mainly to help while you're filling up, but I can still take it out of my mouth and look at it while underwater. You can see there's this little white gauge in the middle. That gauge is gonna tell you how much air you have, and since the tank is empty, you can see it's not sticking up at all. But once the tank is full, it's gonna start sticking up all the way. And this right here is how you fill up the tank. It comes with this little adapter here. You hook it into the tank and then hook the other part up to your scuba. Then all you do from there, is turn the air on just a little bit and wait for it to fill up. The white marker is starting to rise. Now once it gets all the way up, I'll turn the air off and I'll be ready to dive again. 